Hey guys, what's up? This is Ziploc Rules 2013, and welcome to an all new episode of Zip's Collection. Today we're going to be playing some Duck Hunt for the NES. It's a classic game, also bundled in with the NES. And uh, we did play Mario Bros, but I did not play Duck Hunt. And um, we're going to be doing that now, of course, playing it the way God intended with the legendary NES Zapper. Very cool little controller. As well as playing it on a CRT because this won't work on a HD flat panel TV. That kind of sucks, but what are you going to do? But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. That did not load up at all. <laughs> of course it didn't. Okay, let's get the game up here. So we played Mario Bros. already. Uh, that was almost two years ago, wow. Almost 70 episodes of Zips Collection later, and I'm finally getting around to the wonderful Duck Hunt. And yes, if you played Wii Play before, this would probably look familiar. The uh, shooting gallery minigame was actually based right off of Duck Hunt. Uh, it actually looks very, it's very resembling of uh, the Wii Play shooting range. Uh, or that, that game, I guess, is resembling of this. It's pretty cool, honestly. Now, overall, I'd probably prefer the Wii Play version, just because it's more diverse. Um, you do still have the uh, disc shooting minigame, but there's just a lot more variety in the Wii Play iteration of this game, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it's cool checking out the original version. Shit. Alright, so obviously the way this works is you basically just point the gun towards the TV. And it basically works with, I guess, the curvature of the screen on an older CRT. If you have one from, like, the mid-2000s or earlier. And it kind of curves, bulges outward. Uh, and it just something with that reacts with the uh, sensor in the gun. And it almost works like a Wii sensor bar, basically. Only you don't have an actual sensor bar. It's just a gun and a uh, TV. And I guess Nintendo sort of tried to mimic this with the Wii Zapper. But it was total bullshit. You could easily play any of the games that were supported by it uh, without the peripheral. Actually, I did Link's Crossbow Training last year. I did a full Let's Play of that. Uh, that game is meant to be played with the Wii Zapper. I don't own one, and I was successfully able to do a complete Let's Play of that. Shit. Alright. Don't miss them. You get three bullets for each one of these ducks. And, um... If you run out, then tough shit, I guess. We got extra points for shooting the dog. Ah, it doesn't let you shoot the dog. <laughs> I don't know, for shooting things, you'd think the dog would be bonus points, maybe. Maybe if he, like, really quickly peeped his head out uh, as you were trying to get the duck. I don't know, just a weird thought, maybe. Uh, now, you might have seen my old laptop sitting on my desk during the uh, start of this video. Well, that's because I'm actually playing, or I'm recording with my Dazzle, which doesn't work on my new computer. Uh, and I was going to just record this with my Elgato, but the converter I use, uh, for some reason, messes with the signal that goes to uh, the TV or something. Um, like, I had it set up, two converters, one to convert composite to HD for the capture card, and then HDMI to composite to go to my TV, and um, I'm using the same TV, but it just wouldn't work. I would Even if I cheated and held the gun right up to the TV, uh, it would not work. So, I don't know, something with that converter just messed with the uh, reception of the TV, or uh, the zapper going to the TV. It just wasn't the same or something. Um... I don't know, but it works better now that I'm using the Dazzle, and it's a bit more of a direct connection, not as much in the way, I suppose. Uh, it does get faster as you go through. Really, you could think of this as like a mini Let's Play of the game. I mean, there's no end to it, to my knowledge. Uh, I think my personal best, I got to like round 12 or something, and it just got so quick. And uh, I was nowhere near good enough to conquer it. Um... But yeah. So I'm not really sure what the deal with the uh, converters were. Because, I mean, it went through two converters before it actually met my TV. So I uh, definitely went through some hoops. And, uh, yeah. 
So I guess I'm dragging the Dazzle out of retirement one last time. I really don't know if it's ever going to be fully retired. If I keep, uh, I don't know, if I ever want to do a Let's Play of a light gun game, I'm going to need this old laptop and my Dazzle capture card for it. Um, I'm not really sure what it is with my new computer that uh, Dazzle doesn't agree with. I have all the drivers, but uh, again, it is, well, like a 12, 13-year-old capture card. Why did I double shoot there? My God, I got the duck. All right. Uh, ducks were actually like a side thing in the uh, Wii Play version of this game. Uh, you'd be shooting the targets or hitting the cola cans. The pop cans, soda cans, and you just hear the ducks come by and you would just shoot them. But that's actually the main premise of this game. Although I will show off the disc mode as well, where they throw frisbees in the distance. And you have to uh, deal with that. Alright, 81,000 for a score. I've never really paid attention to my score in this game. I just see how far I can get, basically. I don't know if you get more points for getting the duck in a single shot, but you do get that 10,000 bonus whenever uh, you get a perfect round, which is pretty cool. There we go. Tam. Yeah, if I had missed that, the bird would have flown away. I think if you take too long to get the duck as well, they uh, fly away. So, I don't know. You don't get to just take all day. You can't just take your sweet time, I suppose. Alright, 97,000. I'm going to get up to 100,000 and then we'll switch to the other mode. Alright, it's really weird. You have to use your uh, controller, the actual NES controller, just to select uh, Duck Hunt to go in the game. You'd think they would incorporate it into that little menu that you could just shoot at it. Because you can do that in the main menu of Duck Hunt. Just uh, shoot which mode you want. Um... Alright, uh, there's actually two main modes. There's one mode where you can actually shoot two ducks. I think that just speeds everything up a bit. Uh, maybe I should have gone with that one. I'm not really sure. Um, I don't know. We'll stick with this mode for now. I did get uh, ten or 100,000 there. I think I'll get these last two ducks, then we'll check out the other mode. Um, I'm not really sure which, other, which mode I like more. I feel like the disc mode is probably a little easier, so maybe just for that reason I like this mode better, but whatever, it's pretty cool nonetheless. And, okay, oh, I can pop, oh, it doesn't give me the option to exit, okay, I'll just reset the game. Okay, so we just want to go down to, hang on, if I shoot at the floor, go down to game C, and then shoot clay shooting, there we go. And the visual change just a tad bit. Get it. Get it. Alright. It's a little weird. I only played this game for the first time at uh, PAX East. I think 2019. There was this really old TV they had set up with this game. And I recognized it immediately. I'm like, Duck Hunt. That's like the we Play. What we Play tried to clone. Get the disc off. Oh, thank goodness. I don't want to miss any of the discs. I want to get a perfect score if I can. Oh, shoot, that was one round. Yeah, that goes by fast. Um, but yeah, I did not play this growing up at all. I tried it on the Wii U Virtual Console, where they just let you use the Wiimote for it. And you actually get a reticle on your screen. Because um, I guess they can't really work with a flat panel TV to have that act as a sensor bar. So, um, I don't know. Just for precision's sake, I guess. But you don't get a reticle here. You just uh, shoot where you think the disc is at. Or the uh, duck is at. I keep wanting to call them birds. They're ducks. It's literally in the name of the game, Ziploc. What are you doing? You, you're just lying to your fans? What the hell? I don't know. Apparently, I'm a filthy liar. But uh, this game is a lot of fun. Uh, I know there's a couple of... Um, they're pretty... I won't say rare, but there's not a whole ton of light gun games. Uh, I know there was some sort of, like, jungle safari or, like, safari hunt on uh, Sega Master System. It was, like, a better version of this. Uh, so if I ever get a Master System, and if it's cheap enough to get a zapper, I'd love to check that out. I really did not know much about the Master System until I watched, like, some Adam Korlick videos 
uh, more recently, so... Master System would be a cool system to collect for. Uh, I think I vaguely knew of that system's existence through, like, the Wii, uh, the Wii Shop channel. Oh, shit, I missed the disc. No! Darn it, that sucks. I failed my audience. I failed again. <laughs> I failed again. I've ashamed my family. Whatever can I do to make up for it? Just not miss anything else. Alright, that's enough. I think if you miss, like, four or five, that uh, is, like, an instant game over. Um, or not instant, like, at the end of the round or whatever. But yeah, light gun games. This is the only light gun game I've actually played. Um, I don't think PAX had any other ones um, for show there. But it was cool playing this one. I only played the duck mode. I didn't realize there was actually a disc mode in here. I figured the disc mode was just something they shoehorned into Wii Play, but... No, that was officially in this game. Um, but you don't just get to play only the disc mode in uh, Wii Play. So, eh, maybe, maybe a downside, perhaps. But overall, I think Wii Play's version is much more refined. Uh, besides, if you have a bad sensor bar, if you have a bad sensor bar, this zapper never fails. Like, it is perfect. Um, or at least as close to perfect as you can get. Like, I aim right down the site, and I might screw up the aim myself, but I don't get any controller fails here. It's actually pretty impressive. I'm gonna do this one last, uh, one last round, and then we'll end off this episode of Zip's Collection. I do have one more game coming up. Uh, later today, I'm doing a double upload thing. I'm just gonna miss another disc. That's amazing. Hopefully this trigger isn't too loud. I know it's a loud spring. Hopefully it's not too annoying. But, uh, I do have one other game to play, and it is a classic. It is an absolute classic game. And it is on the Sega Genesis, actually, so... Put your guesses in the comments, but the video will be up in, like, two hours anyway, so... Whatever. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Zips Collection featuring Duck Hunt on the NES. And I hope you look forward to my video coming out later today. And I hope you look forward to more videos in the future. Let's play Zips Collection, whatever it may be. And yeah, I'll see you around. Peace.